running back for the uh, over up. Hey, I mean, I gotta, I gotta see it first. I gotta see it first, and we'll. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. About being now the, the de facto workhorse for the Atlanta Falcons. I mean, well, obviously, you know, I gotta, you know, first off, give honor to God um, just for bringing me here, man, and bringing me on the team. And I mean, it's just such a blessing to be here on this team and to, you know, see how I can contribute and to, to use my skill sets that I've been blessed with. But man, I'm so excited to, you know, get going and, and to show, you know, the, the city of Atlanta, you know, what, what was being cooked up. How did you know you were going to be a Falcon? Because was it a day before, a day before that, or just? It was, <laughs> it was in the moment uh, when I was just sitting there. Phone was on my on my lap and it just rung and I was like, oh shoot, like this, <laughs> this is Atlanta, <laughs> uh, and it was just like such an exciting moment um, just to see, you know, where I'm going to be playing at. Um, but man, I, I mean, I can't I can't describe in the words how how amazing it feels and to see my family just so happy. It's it's great. Two. Two. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, obviously, like what, what me and Jameer can do uh, when it comes to running the football, catching the ball out the backfield, you can line us up pretty much anywhere on the on the offense. You know, it shows the value that it holds, um, and I think that for for guys that are coming after us and for guys that you know that are running backs uh, to show that their value is is worth something if they just do it the right way and you know know how to use their skill sets, you know, uh, fully. But to, to to see that there's there's two guys that you know went. You know, in eight and twelve, like I think that's just such a blessing to see that, and um, you know everything that people say about the running back position. You know, I, I feel that it's it's coming up to to what it is um, right now. Hey, Co Coach Arthur Smith has a mean running scheme. We've seen it with Derrick yeah. Henry, Cordell Patterson. Yes, sir. Um, what do you, have y'all had a conversation yet about like? What your role or expectations are in his offense? Yeah, man. I mean, he wants to he wants to use my skill sets uh, uh, fully, man, and and to you know line me up, you know wherever the mismatches are, and to to get me in open space and you know do thing do things the right way for for the offense. But you know when, when we get there, then we'll, we'll really be talking about it and then really see what how it goes and what happens. And I know I know it's gonna be pretty special. You are a player that is connected to a lot of different teams, a lot of different situations too. Eagles being a playoff team, you're going to a team yeah. that's kind of rebuilding. How does that feel? How does it feel to be a face of a franchise, not necessarily going somewhere that's you know maybe gonna go with the Super Bowl next year? But yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I mean it, it feels great, man, and and I think that. For me uh, personally, you know, I, I try to do things the right way and, and you know, make an impact in the city, um, whether it's for charities, uh, for kids. Like, you know, I want I want those people to see me as a as a guy that wants to just, you know, bring positivity and obviously my on field play. But, you know, what I can do off the field as well um, for the city of Atlanta, like it'll be it'll be pretty amazing. So, you know, I'm really happy to, to, to see, uh, you know, what happens when I get there. And, and I can't wait to, to get started. On the field, you had to choose between a gold jacket or a Super Bowl ring, which would be more, which would mean more to you? Oh man, definitely, a, definitely a Super Bowl ring. Just because you know it's, it's such a team achievement, and for me, I'm such a team guy. Um, you know, I want all my teammates to to celebrate, and then I think if you get the the Super Bowl rings, then you know, hopefully, you know, if that that's what God's plan is for you to to get the gold jacket. But I'm, I mean, I'm such a team guy, man, and to to win a Super Bowl with with teammates and to to do it together, then you know, that's that's what I'm all about. Falcons, yeah, tell Falcons, tell Falcons, tell Falcons they, uh, fans what kind of player they're getting. Yeah, I mean, obviously they're getting a player that is just, you know, super relentless, that, that loves co competition, that loves to play the game, um, that has fun playing it. You know, you know, people say that you think of this game as a job. You know, yeah, it's a business, but for me, I'm just having fun. Um, you know, if I've been blessed to do it, I'm going to do it the right way uh, and, and, you know, try to make as much as we can, you know, for, you know, team-wise. But that, that's the kind of player that they're getting. And then obviously just getting a great person that, you know, just brings so much positivity uh, to, to the team, to, to the city. And it'll be, it'll be pretty fun to, to, to experience it. So you're a proud Texas Longhorn. Uh, talk about how that kind of prepared you for this, playing it for Coach Sarkeesian down in Texas. Yeah. And how do you think they're going to do in the SEC? Oh, I mean, I think they're going to do amazing. Um, you know, I think that Coach Sark really has a grasp of the team now, and it's it's really his team now that he that he's recruited, that he's brought in. So I think that his confidence is is through the roof as it should be, and I think that he has the players that he that that he recruited um, to to do amazing. So I, I know Texas is, is is in great hands, and you know, I that's that's my that's my spot forever. You know, I love it there in the city. 
Um, and and I'm, I'm I'm excited to watch what happens. Who's your favorite artist Atlanta, from Atlanta? Uh, Bijan? Longevity as a running back, you know, the average running back lasts so long. What do you think the key is for you, you know, long term going past that five year mark? Yeah, I mean, obviously you gotta you gotta take care of your body, man, the the right way, and. I think you got to have people around you to like a vet and people around you to, to really want to help you out, um, you know, through, through, through the years. And, you know, you can't let distractions get in the way as well. Uh, you got to eliminate distractions and, you know, obviously, you know, do, do so many things uh, well as a, as a player, as a person. Uh, but I think that, you know, for me, like my faith is so big. So <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to keep on praying like, Lord, hey, mental health, that's a big thing. That's a big thing because, if your mind's getting cloggy and if your mind's, you know, getting shadowed, then you're not thinking about, you know, what you're supposed to do uh, on the field um, or even off the field. So, yeah, mental health is definitely a thing, but hopefully, you know, I can, you know, play, play a really long time in this league. Are you familiar with Atlanta? Have you been to Atlanta? Are you familiar with the city? And yeah. Yeah. So, we, uh, I went a couple years, um, my junior year and senior year of high school for the 7 on 7 pylon tournament. And we really got to see the city a lot. Uh, I like the city. Like, it was a good time. Um, we went to, I think it was Lenox Mall. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like, I saw there was a guy that he had like a, a turquoise like suit um, from like head to toe. And I was like, bro, that is amazing. Like, that's pretty awesome. But it was a good, it was a good time. Your artist from Atlanta? From Atlanta? Um, I think Quavo, like I think he's he's the guy like that that everybody you know loves. I mean I love I love Migos. Um, I was a guy that listened to music uh, Migos, so hey, that's that, those, those are the guys for sure. Bijan, the Hawks are down right now by eight points with a minute left in the fourth. You think they yeah. have a chance right now? Absolutely. That boy Trey Young is icy. So let's let's, let's see how it works. <laughs> you feel any extra pressure being picked in the top ten when running backs usually get picked later? Uh, no, I don't feel no pressure at all, man. Um, and that, that's just a testament to, to what I believe in my faith, man. And I know that, you know, God bless me to be at this team right here at, at this spot. So, you know, for me, you know, pressure's not a thing uh, when I know that I'm, I'm supposed to be here. And, and, you know, for me, this is a game. Um, and, and now I'm here uh, playing this game. And, you know, I think that, you know, when, when the pressure comes in and that's when your that's when your thoughts get cloudy and, and that's when your mind gets, you know, clogged up in that. But, for me, you know, it's just a great opportunity, uh, and I, I can't wait to, to get it going. How highly of you? How do you feel about that? He said that you were a top ten pick when I spoke to him at the uh, Super Bowl media week. He was very high on you. Ricky Williams, great Texas Longhorns, just like yourself. How do you feel about that? He said that you were a top five guy. Who, who said that? Ricky Williams. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, man, I mean, you know, Rick, Ricky's obviously a big brother to me, and you know, I think that. You know, having him uh, advocate for me and, and be such a big supporter, uh, just like I'm a supporter of him always, you know, it, 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 that's a pretty special moment. And, you know, you, you got to gain respect from Ricky, uh, you know, if you're a running back, uh, because, I mean, he, he was such a great running back. He did it. He did everything, you know, so well uh, for himself. So just to hear that and to hear him say that, uh, it's pretty special, man. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I just bring so much positivity. Um, you know, I'm, I'm more of a, you know, quietly by example type of guy. But, you know, I'm a dude that will talk to all the teammates, uh, try to, you know, learn who they are as people just so we can connect on a different level. Um, because I think that that's important, you know, to to want to be a great teammate and just understand who your team is. And obviously for me, like, I'm a rookie coming in, man, so I'm trying to learn as much as I can from, you know, the vets and the guys that done it before me. Um, because I think that when I do that, then I can see how to, you know, you know, lead as a team, you know, in the, or lead as a player in the future. Um, but, man, I'm trying to be a sponge and, you know, obviously compete, work as hard as I can um, to, to be on the, on the big stage. You said Atlanta was the best fan base in the NFL. What does it mean to be playing for them? <laughs> I mean, I, I said it. I mean, they're the best, best you know, fan base in the NFL. So now we're here uh, playing for them. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you.